Okay, so it says that it's right around here. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Got a spaceman here. 1122. Oh, yo, it looks kind of, kind of looks like a face. Okay, so when you turn it around this way, it almost looks like a face, guys. Okay, so that's where I found the makeup kit right there. Yo. Yeah, look at that. Because it kind of jabbed him right there in the, uh, kind of the cheek eye area. Yo, what the is that? It looks like there's a big, big structure back here. Try to open up the key in here. Get your arm on the leg. What is that? Oh, there's something inside of it. What is this? Oh, yo, that's so creepy. It looks like an alien. Welcome back to this next exciting adventure of exploring with Brad. I'm here at this same forest. I slugged that guy. Oh my God. I'm actually really nervous to do this again. I don't know. I kind of got the courage just to do random nodding here again. And I had a lot of people request this forest. So we're doing random, random nodding in this area. I do want to go back to where I slugged the guy. So I think what I'm going to do is run one point first. We'll check that out. See if we do find anything. Um, if I find something cool, if I don't, that's fine. And we'll just go and and we'll go and select that area and just kind of check it out. See if he's still hanging out there. See if there's anything else. Um, we do have merch available on the channel. So I'm going to leave that link right here below so you guys can check it out. Be sure to check out your merch. So the uh, shipment ships out March 1st. Uh, Cursed Urban's got that going. Um, so yeah, be sure to grab yourself some of that. But anyways, let's get this party started. It's actually a little cold tonight, despite the warm weather that we've been having. So let's go. On the road again, home to the home. This forest is really, really scary. Um, it is a man-made forest. You'll be able to tell that by all the trees being very, very straight. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't bump into this guy or anybody else. Oh, is that a teepee up there? And it looks like there's a little teepee out that way too, guys. It's kind of interesting. I think I might actually check that out. I've only done this forest once. I only did it with that one guy. So I'm really interested in um, running new points and seeing if we find anything here. Alright, so we just found this structure like a couple minutes in. It's pretty small. And there's none no, there's nothing inside of it, so that's cool. This first point actually isn't too far in, so that's good. Yeah, so I need to get a new uh it's kind of like a bracket for the head, the headlamp of this uh, camera. I gotta get a new one because I'm finding what's happening is the weight of this light is kind of, that's mucking with stabilization. So the camera's actually really good. It's just the fact of the stupid uh, mount that's here. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Nothing so far, so that's really good. Yeah, this is a really downhill slope. I started at like a kind of a different a different starting point than the last time I was here, so it is pretty steep I'm noticing right now. This was all ice before too. So I was literally sliding down this thing first coming in before I started coordinates. Holy smokes. I almost, smell, I almost fell on my butt there. 
it's no good. It's really, really funny. So, um, yeah, so there's some people asking about my daughter. So, the first thing she's ever learned is called a raspberry. Like, you when you go... She knows how to do that now, and it's actually hysterical. Is there anything up there? I always look for spies. Like, just people that might be kind of out and about. I really don't expect to find anybody here tonight, only because... Like I said, I'm doing things a little differently. I'm going in different parts, kind of trying to get closer to a point. Because I find they find these stalkers, like, we'll be we'll be directly using it. Like, kind of following it, like, you know, like how your GPS works, right? So we'll go exactly how it says. Sometimes I try to make shortcuts. And that throws people off big time, especially if they're trying to hunt you. And there's the moon tonight. Big creepy moon. Really, really wild. I should be coming up to the very first point. It's, uh, there's like an E on the tree. That's a little weird. So this is my first points right on the top of this little hill here. So I'll take a peek around. Just want to make sure that there's nothing there. So it says that it's on the right hand side. Right around here. Okay, so it says that it's right around here. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Okay, there's something right there. What was that? Let me just check that out. Okay, so I just found this like seashell thing. It looks like there's something in it. I just want to get rid of this glove. It's driving me crazy. I'm always holding it with one hand because it makes it a lot easier with my flashlight. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna get rid of this for now. Get rid of this glove, put it in my bag. There you go, one-handed Brad. Kind of spooked as to what this is. Okay, so I found the seashell like thing. I don't even know, okay, what's inside of here? Okay, so we've got some photographs here. Okay, this is strange. What is this? Okay, so it looks like somebody with tape around their mouth. It says 11, 16. Okay, and there's a one on the back with some symbol. I don't know what this is. Okay. We've got a spaceman here. 1122 Is that a 3? Yeah, I don't know what this guy is. This is TV plus 3? Okay, this is really strange. I don't think I've ever found anything like this before. Okay, so found that. What is this? This is just weird. Oh, yo, it looks it kind of looks like a face. Okay, so when you turn it around this way, it almost looks like a face, guys. So that says 714. Yeah, and like, look, okay, so that is a five. Oh, there's a crosshair again. So five, crosshair, there's a line, there's a triangle with a dot in it. Yeah, like, these are just strange. I want to take the photos with me for sure. Okay, so there's some dude, or a, a woman, looking in a puddle, and there's like an airplane, and there's seven, and that says 24 on it, and two, and then the circle with the line. I don't know, like, this is just so random. I don't even know how to make any sense out of any of this. Okay, so we've got this last photo. That does look like a UFO, like, or a flying saucer. 
some flying disc or whatever. And this is three. And there's a four. Oh, yo, what's that? Okay, and then there's a four. And then there's like a fill in triangle with an I with two dots. And then this like backwards Y. This is just so weird. We've been getting a lot of strange things. Um, and it's really hard to make any sense out of any of it. Um, I know I think Angelo is like uh, going around the U.S. and stuff. I'm kind of anxious to see what kind of stuff that he's that he's found. But I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to continue on. And I, re I really want to check out this, um, this area where I slug this guy. And just see if there's anything or maybe there's something left behind. So anyways, guys, we're going to go up the trail and check that out. All right? Okay, bye. All right. So we're on the road again. I took the photos with me. I may have to take that glass if I come back. I don't want anybody breaking it and then their animals getting hurt or whatever. So, But we're going back on the trail. Come on, guys. Let's just get a better grip of this thing here. That's better. Here we go. Man-made forest. I always find man-made forest scarier. And you'll see that in just about a minute. Because the trees are in straight lines. So it looks like Sleepy Hollow in this joint. So yeah, I guess prepare yourself for a creepy video since we found some weird stuff. I found this kind of ominous too the last time we were here finding this glove. I do always wonder if there's more teepees or things kind of hidden in here. I'm just on the alert. I really don't know what to expect at this point. I think I'm going to go up this side. So that's good. Yeah, it looks like there's some footprints going up this way. So we see footprints going all the way up there. Let's go check that out. It's either an animal or a small shoe. You can see it going up. All the way up there. Only crummy thing about this Olight, it heats up. Oh my gosh, does it ever heat up. It gets so hot. It's like I have to have a glove just to uh, use the damn thing. So this is where we found... This is pretty well a sequel to last video. So we found this last time we were here. And it was kind of on the way. Looks kind of cool. I don't know. I don't feel really creeped out. I say that now, but I don't really feel really creeped out right now. I'm feeling kind of good about it. Sorry if this uh, camera it starts jarring. It's this bracket on the top of it. I need to dispose of. I'm gonna get some new, new mods. New mods, baby. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody. So that's good. So this isn't a point, we're literally just going to that area to see, see what the, what the cat dragged in, what's going on in here. Yeah, like look at how open that is there. It's like a Slenderman forest, never mind like, you know, the other stuff that mentioned. Yeah, 
so nothing there so far. One second, guys. I'm just going to see if I can adjust this uh, thing. It's kind of bothering me. Yep, it loosened again. I knew it. I frigging knew it. It doesn't get tight anymore. I'm noticing that now. So it's really just this piece. I need to get a new one. You know, the past, uh, past couple days, anxiety free. It's really, really cool. I've been talking about longboarding um, the coming uh, spring and summer months. So maybe I'll have to do uh, a little personal video to be longboarding. Maybe you guys will like that. There it is. There's the footsteps again. Okay, I'm going to dim this so you guys can see it. They're coming all the way down. And they're going... They're going in this direction. Okay. They do look old, so it doesn't look like it's from today. But they're small feet. Like, look at this. Let's see if you guys can see it. Yeah, look. Small footprints. So I don't know if that's just a child or what that is. Okay. Looks like there's a forest down there part. Coming close to where I slug that guy, and since the app is off right now, and we're really just going to here, it makes it easier too for them not to track me. But I will be using it more. So this is where, oh yeah, that's where I found those mar those marbles in the box. Look at that. So we found these marbles last time, but the box is missing. So, whoever took the box, but left the marbles. That is just weird. Oh boy. Okay. A little bit nervous, but at the same time, I took that guy and I... I don't know, I kind of feel a little confident. After that. <laughs> after that swing. We have slug guys before, and the thing was... Even Angelo's like, I don't know if I'd use that because we're always nervous of getting in trouble. So there's a lot of footage that never gets used of like, you know, like obviously some things that YouTube counts as violence. But I was like, well, if they're allowed to have UFC and things like that, then we should be able to have this. Because even with UFC videos online, there's blood and stuff like that. So. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna dim everything. I know this isn't exactly night vision, but if I can come in here and not be seen, just because I just want to look around. I'm not really interested in getting into more danger. Coming up really, really close to the uh, area I slugged this guy and where I found that makeup kit. It's too bad I couldn't snag the makeup kit because that's what had the prints on it. There's this creepy fence here. Not there yet. No sign of wildlife, no sign of people. It's a good thing. I've yet to hear a coyote in this forest too, just the friendly neighborhood dogs. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm getting really close to the area here. I'd like to not be found or seen. Easy does it. Okay, so that's where I found the makeup kit right there. Yo. What the hell's that? So there's something right there. found something here. So this is where the makeup kit and everything was found. All there. Whoever it was, they took they took things. It looks like there's still some stuff left though. However, if there was any prints on that, it would be long gone by now. Yo, what the heck. Dude left his mask after I smucked him. Look at that. That's about where I hit him too. So I damaged the mask, as you guys can see. It's all cracked on the side there. Yeah, look at that. Because I kind of jabbed him right there in the uh, kind of the cheek eye area with the left hook. Yo, what the hell? You gotta be killing. I'm gonna get you, you son of a <laughs> Come on out and show yourself. Yeah. There's another one. So we just found another audio recorder. <laughs> After that, you still wanna play? Seriously? Wow. All right, I'll take that. Make sure nobody's gonna jump me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody, so that's good. I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna take that recorder with us. We'll see what that is exactly. Wedding rings digging into my finger there. Holy smokes. Oh, wow, you really taped that in there good. Leaving me these little love messages. Like, come on, bro. After all that, they still want to play. That's fine. I'll play with you. I'm not taking any more crap from these guys, man. And the last session, me and Angela sparring, I was like, that's it. I'm a good boxer. That's one of the good thing I'm good at. So I have that on my belt. They want to fight? You can fight. Yeah, say good night. Sack of shit. Come for me, man. Come out and get me, dude. Seriously. And take your pieces with you. Alright. Well, I think it's that time again. I'm gonna start random on it. See if I find some more juice in this forest. I wanna play a game. You're a hard man to defeat, but soon you'll come to see things our way. My way. Feel free to use the app as you wish. We are always watching your every move and tracking your device. No matter your intentions, this is going to go our way. Should you try and leave this place without obtaining my little puzzles, my men will come looking for you. This is your final warning. You may have won a battle, but this means war.
All right, guys, so we set my next coordinate. This one is really nearby. I'm really worried that, like, the app could be tampered with now just because of how things are kind of escalating. So, gonna have to be aware. Keep a sharp look about. See, the really beauty of the man-made forest, these straight lines of trees. Wow, this place is really, really creepy. Okay, so my next point says that it's off trail should be coming up to it any minute now. Right. It says that it's this way. Okay, so go in. Back a few pesos. <laughs> okay, so turn right down this way. Yo, what the hell is that? It looks like there's a big, big structure back here. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, like I don't know if anybody's living in here or what. What the hell is that? Are you guys seeing this right now? This is the biggest structure I've ever seen. Like, in a forest. This is massive. What the heck? Oh my god. So we just found this right now, guys. This is the point. Okay, so we just found this really, really big structure. Hello? Okay, there's nobody in here. I guess there's like places you can sit and all that. Yo, what the hell is that? Yeah, there's something right there. Okay, so we're in this big man-made structure. Like, look, they've literally used like ropes and string and stuff to tie and band this whole thing together. found this guy hanging a tree. Again, we have numbers, guys. It says 11, 17, 23, and 20. Anything in the back? There's nothing on the back. Okay, wow. So we'll have to put these together and I don't know. I, d I really don't know what any of this means. I'll have to message Angelo and and find out. That is so strange. I'll put this little guy here, I guess. Sit here, bro. Little stuffed animal. Yeah, I just don't know if anybody could be coming back here or if somebody's even living, is somebody's, or more than one person is living in here. But yeah, we just found this huge man-made structure in the woods. Holy smokes, this is crazy fire tonight. We're definitely getting some stuff. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. Like, I know that we've found some stuff to do with uh, this copycat Zodiac killer that goes by a few different names, like Mr. Marbles and like a shadow or something like that. Like, it was really, really, really strange. I think we're going to set more points though and go up the way. This is crazy. I can't believe the hits tonight, guys. I can't believe we just found this. This is insane. Yeah, I just hope nobody's coming back. I'm going to have to change my uh, light battery too. Make sure that that's fire. And just make sure that everything's going. What was that? I just thought I saw a light in the woods. There's a light right there. I don't know if somebody's coming back here or not. Come on. Hello? It's gone now. I don't see anybody. Whoa, this is crazy, dude. Oh. 
Okay, I don't see anybody. I know straight away back to the trail though, so that's good. Yeah guys, so I think I'm just gonna keep setting more points. We're on some sort of lead here. I don't know what any of this means with these numbers, but I don't know, maybe one of my friends, I could probably message some people and just see what's going on. Maybe they've been finding these numbers too and maybe they mean something. Cause I'm just, I'm just kind of confused at the moment here what all this is. But yeah, I think we're gonna set another point. I'm gonna go back to the trail. I, I, I don't feel comfortable being here right now. So I'm gonna check that out. I'll see you guys very soon, all right? All right. Here. All right, so we're going through. Back to the trail. The broken pieces of plastic. I can't believe it. I've never seen a structure that large in the woods. That's so cool. Whether that was built by people living out here or maybe just the people that run the trail, but that is amazing. I know if I was somebody that was homeless, I'd be living in there. No doubt in my mind. Nobody's gonna find you in there at night either. Point number three. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I really wanted to bring uh, Brayden out tonight, but I think he was with his girlfriend or something, so. Again, I can't find any help. I couldn't find any help last one either. I did feel really good about decking that guy though. See anything there? Okay. Here we go. Amazing the stuff that you find off trail. That was incredible. That was probably the best off trail find I've ever found all this winter was that structure. I'm really starting to wonder if that has something to do with the Bigfoot series because we've had, um, this is Bigfoot territory, the force that we're in right now, there has been Bigfoot sightings. Okay, we just see something right here. Okay, so I just saw something on this. Oh, come on, turn off. Funny that my uh, light likes to go on in my pocket sometimes. What is this? Oh, wow, it's one of those... Uh... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like a glass crystal. And it's got two lovebirds in there, smooching. And look, you can see different ways. Sorry, I'm gonna just try to get the camera to focus on it. There we go. Yeah, look at that. These are actually really, really neat. You can get these made with real designs in them as well. They're almost translucent and they're see-through. That is super cool. So this is on the way to our point. Whoa! <laughs> Just dropped it in the snow right there, but yeah, you guys get the point. Now it's all slippery and weird. So this was on the way to the point. I don't know how much further I want to go up this way though. I kind of want to branch out back this way and finding like the stuff that I've been finding, I don't know. I just really don't know too much about venturing on 
forward. I kind of want to take on a different territory just in case if anybody is out here. I don't want to be I don't want to be dinner, that's for sure. Okay. All right. So those are my points like right in this area here. Oh boy, I'm a little nervous here. You have arrived. Yeah, so I think this is a dud. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in here. So I think I'm gonna go back, set some new coordinates and uh, go from there guys. I'm not seeing anyone, anything here. Luckily I haven't bumped into anybody yet because finding that structure right there, that would have been a red flag for that. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the trail, set a new coordinate. I wanna get close to the town because I don't wanna lose data and go from there. All right guys, so once again I got lucky and Randonautica led me to a new part of the trail I've never been. So we're gonna go explore this after the stupid camera decides to focus. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's go check this out. I can't believe this, like honestly, I know some people get excited over little things, but um, this is honestly my favorite forest I've ever been so far. <laughs> after seeing that huge structure and these really, really cool trails, I'm just in heaven right now. This is incredible. I hear water. If I find a waterfall or something, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be the best hit of the season, I think. But we'll see. That's all I'm thinking. My intent right there is, is waterfall. I know I got your guys' intent, but that's all I'm thinking of is waterfall. So maybe it's gonna lead me to a beautiful waterfall at the end. Really beautiful man-made trails. I, I can't I couldn't ask for better. I'll be exploring with my buddy Nick Hitting a brand new territory uh, Blue Mountains So prepare to see the Blue Mountains of uh, Ontario, Canada. I really want to show you guys it I've never been there myself, but I've seen millions of photos So we're gonna be random nodding there this uh, this month Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna hit other areas of Canada Ontario just for you guys so look forward to good good content whoa look at that oh wow it's just going down this way I mean I haven't run into people I found some really odd things with numbers on it I still don't know what any of this means yeah I'm hearing water coming from down this way we'll go check it out we'll keep following the trail This point's in an odd location off trail, so. I can't wait to take my little girl hiking when she's older. I'm so excited. I'm not seeing anything this way. Our point is actually right across this bridge. I don't know what that is, that's weird. Sawdust? Animal fur? I really don't know, that's weird. Thing here. Anything in there? <laughs> Just garbage! <laughs> Alright, let's continue on to the point. No more fun, Brad. We got work to do. Okay. Yeah, so that just goes back to the road. That's cool. I feel pretty safe. The point says. Yeah, the point's going in this direction here. Where does this go? Oh, that goes back to the houses too. Sorry, I just wanted to see where this went. Oh. Okay, so we're on the point right now. What's that? 
Looks like some sort of brush. Yo, what the heck is that? Okay, so there's something on that rock right there. I'm gonna go check it out. Holy mackerel. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful though. I really don't want to uh, go down this uh, this little river here. Let's go up that way. All right. Let's see if I can just get traction here. Okay, I'm on this one. That's cool, solid. I always move my leg around a little bit. Cause that way I know I can get back up. There's something right there on that rock. Okay, I'm here. Here, traction. Okay, cool. Dry. All right, what is that? Let's see if I can reach it here. Woo! Great. What is this? Some sort of fan. All right, so I just found this fan, guys. What is that? It looks like something from like, I don't know, is it Mexico? So there's a bunch of, let me just kind of fix it up here. Fix it up for y'all. Maybe we can make it a little bit better. <laughs> this is so hard one-handed. It actually looks like there's something on the back of it, though. I'm going to check that out after. Sorry, this is actually really hard. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if I can do this with my leg. Alright, so we have this. Okay, that's a little bit better. So we got some people dancing, guitars. Oh. You see something through it. Oh, yo, look at that. Numbers again. Look, it's 20, 7, 6, 16, 7, 20 times 2, 23, and then it says 21. So we just found that. I think this might be another clue of some sort. I don't know what any of this means, but I really think that we should keep take this with us as evidence. That's really cool, whatever it is. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, so we found some more, more weird things. Strange things, numbers and signs. I don't know what any of this means. My battery's about to die, that sucks. But I have more batteries. I still want a randonaut. Tonight is exciting. I'm finding things. I'm not really hearing any danger, like no sounds, no people, no wild animals that could attack me, so that's cool. Let's get back over here though. I found some brush thing over here. So I kind of want to have a look at what that is too. Maybe there's more stuff here, I don't know. All right, let's go here. Okay, pivot. There, I'll take that with me as evidence. I should have took that teddy with me because it had numbers on it too. Yeah, that's just like some, some brush. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing back here. Woo! All right. All right, so I'm back to land now. Back to land. I'm gonna take this with me as evidence. We've been finding some things with numbers on it. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna launch some more coins and see if I can find a new new area. Use one of your intents and just see if we can find up something else. I might ran I might run out of tokens tonight, but we'll see what we can get, guys. All right, guys. So I decided to run one last coordinate before I get out of here. It's been a really good night. I've been getting a lot of hits. I don't know what any of the numbers mean. I mean, in a way, it's got some ominous, freaky bow to it, but I don't really know how to put it all together. But anyways, guys, we're in Bigfoot territory using Randonautica, so let's get up the trail and check it out. Okay. I did hear some weird sounds in this way, but I don't know if it's just traffic and... God knows what else. <clears throat> Hearing water again, so sure from coming up to water. Oh wow, cool. Yo, what the heck is that? 
Okay, there's something like right in the middle of the, uh, the bridge right there. Hello? There's a plank up here. Not seeing any people though. Right here, blocking my way is like a little spot. Oh, wait a sec. Yo, look. Numbers again. This is 11. And then on the back, there's a 17. Nothing in it, though. That is strange. Okay. Weird. Put that guy off to the side. I might have to take him with me, but that's not the point. Point's up ahead, so I'll peek. I haven't seen anybody, that's the thing. There's some weird gate up here. I don't know what this is. Very unique forest. And this place is massive. We've literally hiked only an hour of it. You keep going in here, you can get real lost. Let me check my phone again once I get out. I don't see anybody. No animals yet, so that's really good. Okay, so we're back out to this trail. Is out that way? But our point is out this way, to the left. So we'll just go up here. It says that this one's off trail. see anybody. Lots of doggy footprints, so I guess a lot of dog hikers and stuff. Okay, let me check my phone again. Okay, so it says that the point's off this way. Yo, what the heck is this? Looks like pieces of an old car or something. Okay, so we've done some rusted, definitely got to be a piece of a car or a bumper, like something old. There, there's more pieces down this way. One right here, here. I don't know, maybe, is it a old car wreck? Is that what I found? Let's go just on up ahead. Maybe there's something we're missing. Some sort of animal tracks going that way. I don't know, guys. This could be a dud. I'm kind of anxious just to kind of look ahead just to see if there's anything. Oh, yo. Okay, there's something right there. What is this? thing. This little tin can here. What is this? It says fossil on the side and it says let's fly away. I might need two hands to open this guy so I'm just gonna put this on the side here. Check it out. I'm finding a lot of weird creepy bizarre things tonight in uh, Bigfoot territory. Sorry my nose has been watery today. Still a bit cold at night, that's for sure. So it says, let's fly away. What is this? Oh, yo, there's something here. There's something here. Let's check 
it so bad. All right, so we're opening this thing. Again, there's a triangle all filled in. What is this? It's like a picture. I'll try to open up the can here. Picture of arm and leg. Oh, is that? Oh, there's something inside of it. What is this? Oh, yo, that's so creepy. It looks like an alien. What does this say? Drawings by Walter Henn based on his discussions with Glenn Dennis, formerly an embalmer in Roswell in 1947. These illustrations are based on the actual drawings allegedly done by Mr. Dennis. Presence by a nurse who participated in the preliminary autopsies at Roswell a day or two after, two later. That is creepy. What's on the back here? The sign of one of the roads out of Corona attests to the desolate nature of the area. Road becomes impassable during wet weather. Oh, hold on guys. I think my light just went out. What the heck? This is getting weird. Yeah, sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Angelo taught me how to reset it. On the back, it says Don Schmidt and Kevin Randall near what was the flight line on the old Roswell Army Airfield. Okay, so we got some old photo here. What is this? Okay, there's some sort of ring. Okay, hold on. I'm going to open this up, guys. This is getting so crazy. Like, I've been finding so much weird crap tonight. So, strange. This ring is huge too. Like this would not fit me. What is this? Oh, whoa! It's a decoder ring. Hold on a second. I almost knocked my camera over. All right. So I just found this. Uh, hold on. Fix my ring. Now. So I just found this decoder ring with numbers and letters on it. And then what is this? on some note. Oh, yo. Okay, this is disturbing. Okay, so we just found this right now. And it looks like there's fingerprints, but they're smudged. So this says, I am not afraid of the gas chamber because it will send me to paradise. All the sooner because I now have enough slaves to work for me where everyone else has nothing when they reach paradise, so they are, they are afraid of death. Sincerely, a shadow in plain sight. Yeah, it's that guy again. Oh, and there's a thumbprint on the back. I definitely have to take this stuff with me. Like, this is evidence. Like, this is crazy. If this is probably the most intense night I've had random nodding. I want to have a look at this decoder ring though because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I know Braden was talking about this thing one time that he found one. So a decoder ring. Hold on. <laughs> My camera does not want to focus on you right now. I hope that it picks you up. Alright, so... Sorry about this. This is driving me insane. All right, let me let me just let me just do this this way because it's not wanting to pick you up. Uh, to get some clear imagery, so a Dakota ring has letters and numbers, and there's like this little hole right here. I'm just gonna try to. Uh... Okay, there you go. Now it's focusing on it. So hopefully it knows to target it. So if we look at this ring, there are, there are letters and numbers. And there's this little hole right here. And then you can distinguish which um, letter is corresponding to its number. So if you go here, let's see if I can twist it around. Let's just try to get the camera to focus on it a different way. But I'm thinking that maybe all the stuff that we found tonight 
perhaps this is going to lead, this is going to like solve the puzzle because we didn't know what these numbers were. They were just kind of all over the place. So yeah, if you guys can see it, let's try to get it really nice and close here. As you guys uh, turn this piece here, there are letters, but the numbers are inside of the uh, little hole. And then you can interpret some sort of message. So I'm thinking that a shadow, whoever this guy is, he is leading me on some wild goose chase. And whatever this decoder ring is, this is going to solve it. So I'm really glad that I did follow through to this point. Otherwise, I would never, ever be able to solve this puzzle. So I think back at home, I'm going to do some detective work and figure that out. So I'm going to take that ring with me. It kind of fits on my thumb right there. It's kind of cool. I think we should bag all this stuff up. This is all evidence, all good stuff. I definitely want to take that with me. So anyways, guys, I really hope at the end that you really uh, enjoyed this episode. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe. we got more to come for you. I am going to solve this puzzle in the end at my house. So you guys will see that on tape. I just want to bag this up. Like, this is crazy. I can't believe we found all this stuff tonight. This is exciting. Get that up. I'm just going to put this in my bag right now. Before we get going. Probably the best random odd adventure I've ever been on all season, to be honest. Uh, in my opinion. I can't believe all the hits and stuff that we found. Hopefully we don't have any run-ins with Bigfoot, though. So I definitely want to get out of here tonight safely, get a bite to eat. I'm starving. It's been a while. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys back at my house. All right, guys, welcome back. So I decided to do um, solve the mystery and all this, all the um, numbers that we had found and everything like that. So we're going to get to detective work. I'm in the baby's room again doing it up here, but I always find that this is a quiet space for me. So I've been doing that here. Also, be sure to grab the merch. We've got the merch on the website. Um, I dropped the link below again for you guys to see. Um, everything ships out March 1st and it ends at the end of this month. So be sure to grab yourself some merch um, before it's all gone. We might try to put it out again for next month. I did talk to Kirst Urban about that. But anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this uh, next episode. Let's get this, let's get this uh, murder mystery going, find out what's going on. Maybe this is going to unveil something. Anyways, guys, be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe. We got a lot more coming for you.